Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I am Desiree Marie, and today I want to show you guys something that I'm doing with my hair. It's not a new journey, but it's just an extension on to the journey that I'm already embarking on with my lock journey. As you guys know, I am almost four years locked. Four years would be in, my four year lock anniversary will be in August. Um, towards the end of August and so I've gone through a whole lot with my hair a whole lot of decisions this year um, whether to color it which I have colored it one time whether to color it again um, whether to comb them out whether to I, I've just been thinking of so many different things but I think I've kind of settled on something that I am very interested in doing and just in order to maintain my locks as I'm still growing them. I'm not going to comb them out. I'm not going to cut them. But I thought that a good thing that I can do for my hair is to just embrace it and to also, I, I guess, accentuate it. <laughs> So, you guys know that um, a few weeks ago, I showed you guys, well actually a few months ago, I showed you guys my cutting locks. I showed you guys as I went in on every lock, well not every single lock, but a few locks that were weak and I cut them because it doesn't make sense to hold on to weak locks. That was my assumption back then. But after doing some research, I found that I can actually strengthen those locks and um and help them by adding more hair so the first thing that i'm doing right now you guys don't see it i'm gonna show you right now okay so on this side you see that i cut my hair right and i cut it right here as well but i added an extension Ooh, and i added a few actually i did a few off camera you don't even know where it ends really so the thing that I'm going to do with my hair is just to add extensions on the short pieces in order to bring my length back to one entire, you know, the same length. Or not exactly the same length, but bring them all to a place where they look more unified. Because right now it looks a little choppy. I've got like bang locks here and you know short locks here and there I also have one that I cut a um, few that I cut right here just in the middle of my um, longer lock pieces so what I want to show you guys is how I make these I'm not an expert okay I've watched a few YouTube um, videos and I've tried it on my own. So this is in no way a tutorial, but this is just showing you how I make my own locks and how I have um, attached them to my own locks as well. So. Okay, so just to get started, you're going to take, well, what I did, because this is not a tutorial, guys. I took the lock that I wanted to extend and just gently combed it out at the ends. Here I'm using my three needle hair tool. It is a 0.75 millimeter hair tool. I kind of alternate between this one and the single needle. I will be listing all of the information down below, everything that I've purchased and used in this particular video. So I'm taking the kinky, 100% human hair, kinky hair, um, and just palm rolling it in the palms of my hands. And I'm taking my three needle 0.75 millimeter hair tool and just gently combing it until it maps up in my hands. Um, as I'm combing it, I am gently twisting it in the uh, clockwise circular position just so that it forms a lock. And if you want to know what kind of hair I use, I will link that information down below as well. So what I'm doing here is bat combing the hair from the base all the way up to the top. I just found that this way was most easiest for me to start at the bottom and make my way up to the top. Um, I'm not quite sure exactly why. Like I said, I'm kind of a beginner in this, but starting from the bottom really helped me to solidify the base and 
um, perfect the base before I make my way all the way up to the top and so I'm starting from the base but making my way up midway and then and then I'm kind of going back downward to uh, complete what I started on the bottom I mean if you're gonna do this you definitely have to pack your patience because you're going to be starting at the base and then making your way up to the t up to the middle or the top and then making your way back down to the base. Um, my goal here was to mat as much hair as possible so that I can form a um, solid lock. Since this is not my hair, it will not mat up in the middle as my uh, natural locks do because of the natural progression of you know hair locking our shed hair um, forms in the middle of the locks and that forms our strong lock you know consistency throughout the entire throughout the entirety of our locks but human hair is this human hair is not my hair so I have to do the work first before actually attaching it and so that's what I'm doing with the three needle hair tool um, you also want to kind of palm roll to create the shape and here I'm using my single tool I'm, I'm kind of alternating between the two but my single tool helps me to um, get what the three needle hair tool did not um, and here I'm just doing the whole entire process all over again um, back combing, twisting, and making my way back to the bottom just to create that solid inner formation of the lock. Palm roll, and I'm gonna continue doing this all over again. I wanted to show you guys the entire um, procedure just in case you, well, it's not a procedure. I just wanted to show you the entire process so that if you wanted to kind of follow in my footsteps, like I said, this is not a tutorial. I'm just showing you how I did it. But if you want to follow along with me, um, I wanted to share everything that I did just so that it is very clear and easy. But I do highly suggest that you watch um, this other YouTuber that I learned this from, and that is DXYLN Locks. I will put her name on the screen. She is amazing with lock extensions. She is a professional loctician and she um, shows a lot of her work here on YouTube. So if you wanna learn more about this from a professional standpoint, go ahead and check her out. Okay, so now that I'm done creating the locks, I am twisting it onto my lock. So what I did was I put the ends of my locks with the ends of the lock extension giving enough loose hairs so that I can twist it around and then go ahead and crochet them together with my hair tools. So I'm twisting the hair, the loose hair around and I'm using the hair tool to go ahead and mesh the two hair, the, the, my hair and the lock extension together. That's the purpose of the hair tool to help to mesh the two together and create that matted look that we enjoy um, from our locks. So with the single needle, I am trying to mat in the middle of the lock and pack in as much matted hairs on the inside of the lock so that it is the same consistency as my mature lock. I wanted to create a solid base so that um, it's not a complete difference in texture between my locks and the lock extensions. So here I'm using the three needle um, to hair tool to mesh the two together. I, I pretty much prefer the single hair tool, the single needle hair tool because that helps me to precisely get the hairs meshed in together. The three needle hair tool I feel is best when you are creating the lock extension then I, I really don't prefer to use that when meshing the, my hair and the lock extension together. Um, that's where the single needle comes in and like I said I will link all of the information down below um, links where you can get these um, hair tools that I used in this video and also a link to where you can purchase the human hair that I used here in this video. 
The human hair that I purchased for my lock extensions are the number four ashy brown um, hair colored human hair, uh, human hair. <laughs> and that, I chose that because of the fact that I couldn't find any hair colors that really matched my um, my new hair color, which is the ginger blonde that I have. So I thought that it would be best to use my natural hair color so that when my hair grows out, and I still have the ginger locks, but when my hair grows out and I have the ashy brown roots, it kind of blends in pretty well and naturally um, with the ashy brown and the number four um, hair extensions, if that makes sense. So if you want to go ahead and seal those ends, that is completely easy as well. What you can do is loop them together and gently twist and then use your hair tool to go ahead and backcomb the, the two hairs together to create that solid ends look. So this is what it looks like. Now I'll show you what it looks like completely done and in the sunlight. Hey guys, so I just wanted to show you the results, the final results of the lock extension um, installation. I will also show you in the actual sunlight. And as you can see, you really can't show see a distinction between my hair and the lock extensions like this one here is a lock extension and let's see and this one is my hair you can barely see the um the difference also in the color seeing that i chose to um, add the ashy brown color which is pretty much my natural hair color you can't really see anything different it just blends in very well because of the fact that my natural hair color is ashy brown and some of my locks didn't take to the um, hair color anyway so this is the actual result it looks just like my hair it looks just like my hair the um the goal was just to extend the hair just to where it should be um not really make everything all even but just to bring it down a bit because the front bangs this is where it cut off if you can see i don't know if you can see that but the color is distinct between my hair and the lock extension and um it was just too short i didn't like the inconsistency i really do enjoy this consistency now um, with the length because now i can actually have fuller ponytails and just the overall fuller hairstyle um fuller hairstyles period <laughs> so i'm glad that i did this and I will be talking more about this in the videos to come. If you guys have any questions, list them down below so that I can go ahead and answer them in the following video. Um, yeah, so that's the result. And I hope that you guys enjoy this video this far. Yeah, more content to come. Thank you guys for watching. I love you and I'll see you later.